Kitamoto, we are in a, in a small town called Kitamoto. Uh, it's about one hour's drive from Japan, uh, from Tokyo. And um, trainings are quite nice, quite, quite tough. And um, it's interesting. I will make some other episodes about, uh, uh, you know, the kind of societal responsibility aspect here in Japan and how do they place society or, or form or, or hierarchy in, uh, in front of a lot of other things really but basically in front of a lot of, uh, a lot of other personal uh, yeah comfortabilities or rights even or something like that so uh, entitlements uh, maybe that's the worst word and then the basic idea is that there's still a concept of um, responsibility towards the society the responsibility towards the common good towards the 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 common benefit of us all I think it still it still exists and that's uh, that's quite a nice thing because in the in the West I think we have well some would say progressed but I think we transgressed to a level where the individual entitlements or the individual rights started to take over the there's there's no space left between the individuals so the the concept of society is is vanishing or actually it's vanished so i think that is the reason that we have so many how should i say sort of far type marginal movements but a, a, a lot of times a, a lot of times it's um, it's not even marginal a lot of times it becomes mainstream but it's and it's true for both the far right where people are sort of fed up of uh, sort of uh, trying to trying to sort of look backwards in the past and uh, everything that is a deviation from that is uh, is upsetting so trying to replicate the society of the of the past and oftentimes is this is this is of course the glorious past but then this is also true for the for the far left which is sort of looking perhaps way ahead in the future or i don't know in in the past in a, perhaps another direction but they idealize a society on the complete opposite where sort of uh, well, almost like communism right where everybody's equal and everybody has not just the same opportunities but supposedly also the same outcomes regardless of their uh, capabilities or uh, various kinds of religious cultural any kind of attributes and then these are the two two far ideological canons and then what is happening is that in both of these cases there is no breathing space left for the individuals and the societies themselves and then that's why that's why the the, the opposite of of the whichever whichever canon is currently in lead in each country the opposite of that the, the, the movements opposite to that are are rising and uh, let me just cross here or maybe I cross here the, the movements opposite to that are rise so I think we need to strike somewhat of a balance where we we keep enough rights for the individuals 
but at the same time we also maintain uh, a little bit of uh, social uh, responsibility but I mean you can call it responsibility I think it sounds very much sort of like if you read 12 rules for life by Jordan Peterson he talks a lot about responsibility but I, I, I'm actually not I'm not meaning that in in that way but uh, sort of uh, almost like well the Japanese would call it sort of giri right which almost means duty and then it's uh, it's kind of nice because it's more forward thinking so if you leave a little bit of space for the benefit of society but at the same time you also respect the rights of the individuals then you can have a society which is both accepting but at the same time it's pleasant to live in so obviously there's a lot of problems with that right so when you when you go into the into the into the grocery store and people are obviously smiling at you but a lot of times they don't they don't mean that however if they do mean it even if they don't the overall general interaction with society because there is uh, they actually respect is a better word than responsibility so if there is a, an overall amount good amount of respect maintained towards not just each, not not just respect towards yourself and respect of the individual rights of the others which would be either either far ends right but also the respect of the living space right so in a, in a tragedy of commons framing it would be not just the respect of the of the sheep or respect of the shepherds but also respect of the grass right the environment which enables these interactions with in this case it's society right or countries or whatever governance structure you have it doesn't matter but if you respect the commonly accepted rules by society the overall cohabitation experience can be a far uh, superior experience than if you just respect your own rights I'm, uh, I'm here to pick up some uh, presents so that's all my thoughts for today from Kitamoto, they are checking out.